Because of normal wear and tear, occasionally you must have your van serviced. However, being without it is an inconvenience and interferes with getting your work done. The same could be said of your blitz machine. After many years and many keys, and hitting a few too many potholes, you may find your machine requires calibration. Instead of being without this vital part of your shop and having to turn away business, use the HPC Blitz Calibration Kit to quickly and easily bring your machine back to factory spec. This kit works on the Blitz and 1200CM as well as the code cutting side of the Switch Blitz. The kit comes with the calibration key, calibration disc, code card, and complete instructions. There are several steps to fully check the calibration of your machine. Before checking the calibration, unplug the machine and remove the cutter and code card. The first step is to check the space range to verify the carriage has the full range of travel. Insert the calibration card and rotate the spacing crank all the way clockwise. The needle should be at least up to the circle on the right side of the card. Do not put undue pressure on the needles. Turn the crank only until you feel it stop. Do not force it beyond this point. Rotate the spacing crank all the way counterclockwise. It should move at least up to the circle on the left side of the card. The next step is to check the depth range. Install the calibration disc with the flat side facing out. Gently tighten the cutter nut. Slightly loosen the wing nut. Rotate the depth crank inward, clockwise, until the jaw gently touches the disc. The needle should move at least to the circle on the card. If it doesn't, call the HPC service department. The machine may need factory service. Once you have verified your machine has the proper depth and space range, check the tip gauge spacing. Insert the horseshoe tip stop. Install the calibration key, gauging it on the best tip gauge. Tighten the wing nut. Turn the space crank so the needle is positioned at the space mark on the card. Grasp the wing nut on the pivot arm with your thumb and pull forward gently. If the disc engages the slot on the key, then the tip spacing is correct. If it does not, follow the instructions for calibrating. Raise the shoulder gauge to check the shoulder spacing. The gauge should just barely scrape the shoulder of the calibration key. Excessive pressure, or not touching at all, indicates improper shoulder gauge calibration. If this is the case, follow the directions included with the calibration kit to adjust the shoulder spacing. Grasp the wing nut and pull toward the cutter. The depth needle should align with the depth mark on the card. If it does not, follow the instructions included with the calibration kit to adjust the depth calibration. Your machine is now calibrated. Keep in mind that the Blitz calibration kit is intended to check the calibration of your machine and guide you through minor adjustments. There may be some situations that require a factory trained technician to correct.